Look at Khan, he's everywhere, watching, waiting. waiting. He helps us always. Be strong, strong like Salah Hadid, and take up arms against our enemies in whatever way you can. Please, sir, have any money? That what you say? I'll tell you, my friend, my brother. It's been such a long time. Any news of Ada since she left? No. How sad. I'm sure you'll find her something. I've heard a feather is lying on top of Abu Bakr's head. Maybe I could help you. But I have a mission myself. I have four targets I must eliminate before noon. Let's cooperate, just like old times. Two for you, two for me. They are Abu Yakud's personal guards. You will spot them in minutes. King's men. I think it's a map of where he has stationed his guards. I'm sure it will come in handy in your mission. Anytime you're in Damascus, come see me. You know my door is always open to you. Safety and peace, my friend. Thank you. 
of it has been delivered. Good. Make sure he also knows it wasn't easy arranging a shipment like this. It's only wine. Some can be fickle in their faith. Your holy book says something on the subject, I believe. Leave them that they may eat and enjoy themselves, and that hope may beguile, for they will soon know. And never did we destroy a town that had a term made known. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Be about your business, as you wish. the merchant king's quarters, above the balcony. Well, what if it falls? It could be hurt. Too late to do anything about it now. Just hope it isn't noticed. You can deal with it tomorrow. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Nakud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The bureau is yours to do it as you please until you're ready to begin. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one.
Is there a reason for him to do that?
No further. You're a dead man. I will wait. 
I trust everything is to your satisfaction. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. But these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Hadim bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you! You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel. Oh, do not feign ignorance! You take me for a fool! I have not heard the words you whisper. I might have. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war, and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say. Or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no. All this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different, just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you, mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I pledge myself to another cause, one that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. A pity none of you will live to see <laughs>
reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Anwalib then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes. We'll see what he has to say. Uh, 
fast forwarding memory to a more recent forward to memories. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order authority. You speak in circles, Master. You commend me for being aware and then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. Opa, iar dau lecții. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
fuck is that? Push him again! <laughs> chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon, either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured I won't forget it. for you to be here. Word has spread of your deeds, Altair. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. What can you tell me of the man himself? William has been named regent while the king conducts his war. The people see it as a strange choice given the history between Richard and William's son, Conrad. 
but I think Richard rather clever for it. Clever how? Richard and Conrad do not see eye to eye on most matters. Though they are civil enough in public, there are whispers that each intends evil upon the other. And then, there was that business with Akkar's captured Saracens. In its wake, Conrad has returned to Tyre, and Richard has compelled William to remain here as his guest. You mean his hostage? Whatever you wish to call it, William's presence here should dissuade Conrad from acting out. I've never been one for politics. But surely you realize your every action shapes the course of this land's future. You are a politician too, in your own way. As you wish. Now where would you suggest I begin my search? Richard's citadel, southwest of here. Or rather, the market in front of it. You'll find the Cathedral of the Holy Cross in that direction as well. It's a popular place and should be filled with talkative citizens. Finally, try the border to the west, where the chain and hospitaller districts meet. That should start you on your way. Very well. I won't disturb you further. It's no trouble at all. 